Hey, there's something we're going to be doing that I really am excited about. And we're talking about giving the gift of music. Um, and many local students, this is a big thing, have an interest in playing an instrument but lack the financial means to purchase an instrument. Some of these instruments can be extremely expensive. And I'm not just talking about... Here's the problem, too, is when you have, like, a kid, and Christine, you know, because you have a kid the same way. It's like, well, I want to do choir, and I want to do flute, and I want to do trombone. And by the time you're done, you're spending all... It's tough to, to buy all of these instruments. So oftentimes, the schools will try to work to get instruments for kids at no charge, and it's a challenge. Now, there are some kids and some families that don't have the money, and they'll never play an instrument because they cannot afford the instrument. So what we're working on is we put together a program where we can change that. If you have an instrument gathering dust in the attic or taking up space in the garage, no matter the condition or the age, you bring it to our collection event at Sankerton Square on May 14th. And this is going to be an awesome day because we're asking everybody, if you've got an instrument, bring it there on the 14th. Samco Music in Dowlesville will refurbish each of these instruments. And they will then be given to local students with a desire to learn and play. And we give, the, this is a little giving of the gift of music. Um, this is uh, really, really big. It happens on May 14th. So think about it. What do you have? Instead of trying to sell it for two bucks at a garage sale, um, how about this? It, it gets refurbished, then gets given to the schools, and it will benefit schools throughout the entire region that are in need. Do I have all this right, Christine? I well, am they're gonna extremely go to, excited about it. They're going to go to Proctor High School. Oh, they're all going to Proctor? They're going to Proctor, okay. yes. Well, it doesn't say that here. These details are not complete. I'm sorry. I'm very upset. <laughs> but, <clears throat> but we learned yesterday that Proctor does share some of the instruments with other um, schools in need. And some of the students are, so the students are charged in the district $20 a year in, in many yeah. of the schools yeah. to use the instruments. And some of the students can't afford that $20 per year, but they want to play the instrument so badly that they will bring a dollar a week wow. in so that they can, quote unquote, rent the instrument yeah. for the year. And, and it doesn't matter if these instruments are in bad shape. They're being Yeah, they're going to be refurbished. Up. And this place in Dowdsville is doing the uh, refurbishing. Uh, really, really cool. It's called Samco Music up there in, uh, in Dowdsville. All right, uh, what else do we want to do? I've got 20, 19 minutes to go here. What are we going to do? I do have another free money question of the day I can squeeze in. Do we have uh, any more wanna, money? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll check and see. We do, Call Joe. Uh, we do have, um, I do have to say that if you want to pipe in some opinion on, on what went down last night and yesterday with the primary, pretty active. And the numbers were really big. This was a primary with, with pretty big turnout. Our phone number is 7360186 if you want to pipe in. You want to do that free money thing right now? Yeah, let's do we it. We can do it right now. We're looking for caller number. Let's make it five. At seven three six zero one eight six, and you get a chance at one, two, or three hundred dollars. We ask the easy question, although this really, really wasn't an easy question. I don't think the uh, the flag is red with yellow stars. How many small stars are on the flag of China? And it, it was Joe, I think, in uh, in Remsen, who uh, the, we spin the wheel. It came up on three hundred dollars. He answered four. There are a total of five golden stars on the on the Chinese flag. Four of them are smaller, and he was absolutely right. He wins $300 in cash. Pretty good. Pretty excited. Andrew, do you have, uh, who am I looking at here on the line? We got Hilda in Rome on two. Hilda, Hilda. Good morning, Hilda. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. How are you? Great to hear from you, Hilda. And what's the, what did you vote yesterday, and are you happy with the results? Yes, I am. Who, uh, do, yes. you mind, do you mind telling us who you support? No, I really wouldn't want to say. I Please. love that <laughs> privacy because you know what? The people today don't have that same privacy. Hilda, <laughs> Bill respects that you won't answer. He just, what's your age? Will you give us your age on the air? No, I'm just kidding. I'm right. kidding. <laughs> oh, right. I'm kidding. I'm A tell lot of you. people don't oh. like to share that. Hilda, you, Hilda you're, you know that um, it used to be you would never tell anyone who you vote for. Well, that, that, I still feel that way. I think you should. Yeah. Good for you, Hilda. Especially today because, Hilda, it's so polarizing right now that you say who you vote for and people start chastising you. So you're better right. off saying, listen, I'm not telling you who I voted for. Well, and, and I'm not going to tell you what books I read either. And even further still, you talk <laughs> about that. 
Republican, Democrat, even even as far as that. And I've got a little bit of an issue because sometimes, and the people who volunteer at the the, the polling locations, they're awesome people. But it's like, uh, okay, you know, so let's say, you know, for instance, you go up and vote. Oh, you're a registered Republican. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they're yeah. like yelling at it. Even I think the party, you know, whatever party you're registered for is, is somewhat private as well. Yeah, well, it's not because you got to walk up to one right. side or the other when, right. you, when you vote. Hey, Hilda, how's that new mayor in Rome doing? How's uh, How's that going? Well, I believe she's doing pretty good. Yeah, yes. I kind of like her. I think she's a keeper, do you think? Yes, she is. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to talk about Mayor oh. Izzo in uh, in Rome. All right, Hilda, here we go. We're going to see how much we're playing for. Is it one, two, or three hundred dollars? Here we go. One hundred dollars. Hundred bucks. All right, you're paying, playing for uh, a C note. Uh, one hundred dollars. All right, and oh. here is your question. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. It was established in 1642. New York State's second ever church is actually called the First Church. What city is New York's second church, the first church, in? What city is it in? Ready? Go. Buffalo. You're going to go with Buffalo. Is it in Buffalo? Good guess to go. Good guess, Hilda, to go upstate, but actually the first church is the first Reformed church, and it's in Albany, so it's not oh. Buffalo. I'm sorry, but uh, we could give you dinner for two if you'd like. Would you like to do that? Very much. All right. Yes. Andrew's going to take care of you. Hilda, thanks for calling in. Okay. Thank right. you very much. That is, uh, this is quite interesting. I was actually just, we were out there for my daughter's dance competition, and we're walking to the uh, to Palace Theater, and over there on Pearl Street, uh, there's a big sign in this old church that says it's the first church. So I said to my wife, I'll bet that's the first. Because, you know, think about Albany, one of the early settlements uh, here in the United States. Sure. What became the United States. So I'm, I'm wondering if that's the first church ever in um, in maybe the Northeast or New York State or whatever. And it turns out it's the second but and, it's called uh, the first? That's but it's called the first. Okay. Well, time did, you know, it, there wasn't internet and a lot of social <laughs> media. The people who called it the first church, we now proclaim this, the first church in the new land. Had no idea that that had already been, that the whole thing had already been spoken in New York City. <laughs> new Amsterdam is what it was. Anyway, the first church, 1642, is actually the second ever church and uh, it is in located on, on in New York State, and uh, the first, however, upstate, and it's located on Pearl Street, right over near the uh, right over the the, the, the Capitol Building, all that uh, the assembly side. Uh, hold on tight, we're coming right back. We'll wrap this up for a Wednesday morning on WIBX. Coming up.